Diva Doll Flawless. I just wanted to come to you with a really quick haul. And these are just going to be some items that I purchased from Sally's Beauty Supply and also Walgreens. So the first thing I picked up was this magazine that you see right here. And this is actually the Nellie magazine and they sell these at Sally's and it just has a whole bunch of different um, nail arts different talks about different polishes and anything that has to do with nails and I absolutely love her makeup so I probably will be mimicking this makeup look all right you guys so the next thing I picked up from Sally's is this cuticle eraser cuticle pusher and it's just a white stone one and I really like these for pushing back my cuticles, say if I'm doing a refill on my nails. Um, debating on whether or not I want to do my own refill or go back to my nail tech and let her do them. And then also for my nails, I picked up this 10-piece nail art brush set. And this was, um, I believe it was $6, $6.99, something like that. And this is by Deborah Lynn. And I really like the nail art brushes specifically for this one because I actually like to use that not just for nail art, but I like to have uh, extra ones on hand because I like to use them for um, eyeliner. Also from Sally's, I picked up these Face Secrets professional lip gloss applicators I have a client to do and I was just double checking everything in my um kit and realized I didn't have any more of these of all things I had everything else all my other disposables but I didn't have these and I, of course I didn't have enough time to like order any offline so I just went ahead and I um picked some of these up from Sally's the next thing I picked up from Sally's were these cone shaped face masks and I like to wear these if I'm doing um, my fill-ins on my nails mainly for the dust from the drill so I picked these up and there are five masks inside this pack I forget how much they were but I'm sure they weren't that expensive also if you would like to see an example of how I pack my kit or maybe get an idea of some items that you can use to pack your kit if you're a freelance makeup artist. On my other channel, Diva Doll Maldonado, there's a link under the video. I put it in all my video descriptions. Um, on that channel, I have a What I Pack in My Train Case Kit um, video. Uh, I believe that's the name of it. But I do have that and I also have a blog post on it that lists all of the different items, lipsticks, colors, and all that, all those types of things. Just so you can get an idea of what you can do. Maybe more for a starter kit because my kit always switches out. It just depends on what I'm doing with clients. Okay, and then last but not least, I just picked up this little... Um, tablecloth and I always use these when I go do my clients because I like to keep a nice sanitary work area so I like to put all my products on top of a tablecloth normally I buy black, black ones but for whatever reason I couldn't find any black ones and I, I just got this from the dollar store so I just went ahead and got the white one. Alright so moving along I went to Walgreens and I picked up uh, from Jordana the best Lash Extreme, I was about to say Extreme Lord, <laughs> Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. You guys, this is what, $2.99? $1.99. $2.99, I want to say. And the reason why I picked this one up is because I got this one, which is the Best Volume Extreme. And you guys, let me tell you, I was not expecting much from this mascara I'm gonna have to do separate reviews on these but if you can go ahead go to Walgreens and pick you up these um, mascaras this one I already tried I liked it my lashes normally with volumizing mascara I find that they're hard or crunchy like and my my um, lashes were actually really soft and I had no flaking and they separated really good so, I think that I will be using this. You all know that I love my L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black. But that runs me about $10, $9 
a pop. So, I'm thinking about adding this into my little new um, mascara mix. I really like it and I was thoroughly surprised. So, this one is the best volume extreme and this one is the best best lash extreme volumizing mascara both from Walgreens and the brand is Jordana all right so from Walgreens I also picked up this lipstick and this is called Ferguson Crest Cabernet this is 80A041 and this is wet and wild from the Fergie collection and I haven't had a chance to play around with it yet but I'm going to double check. I'm almost positive that from Wet n Wild's older line that they had this lipstick. They're just probably putting it in the um, new Fergie packaging. But I really do think that I have this already. I'm just trying to remember what the name of the lipstick would be. But I'll definitely let you guys know. You know already. You already know I'll let you guys know about that but that's definitely Ferguson Crest and I thought it was really pretty all right loves last but not least would be these new Milani powder blushes I absolutely love Milani I believe that their products are really good and of course at the drugstore they're definitely one of the better brands that I recommend and I really love them now I have been seeing these blushes like reviews and everything on them however I went to a couple of CVS's in my area, couldn't find them. Also went to the Walgreens, could not find them. I actually had to go up the highway <laughs> to another Walgreens that I normally get my drugstore products from. And they had them. Problem is, they only had these ones left. So now I am on a hunt for the other two. Now the ones that I have are, this one is called Flora Passion. And this is number 02. And let me just give you a swatch just in case. I think this packaging, ooh, this is soft. Kind of chalky, but I'm almost sure that once you swatch these on the skin, like once you wear them, that they'll be good. It's a powder blush, so I do actually expect some um, chalkiness. But that's, with, that's what that one looks like, if you can see it. Let me just go ahead and try to build that up a little bit more. I really think that that packaging is so cute. Oh, yeah, that's going to be pretty. All right. So that one is Flora Passion. Okay. And then the next one, why does it look like that? Mm. Hope that nobody else swatch it. All right. Before I put this one on, I'm going to go ahead and spray that one down with some alcohol just in case. Because I'm noticing that it has, y'all see that? And I didn't open this yet. Um, this one is called Romantic Rose. And this is a powder blush. And Romantic Rose. Let me go ahead and swatch that. Again, a little more chalkiness, but that's alright. It's a powder blush, so I do expect that. And Romantic Rose looks like that. Okay, and that will be this one right here. Let me see if I can get a little bit more. And you guys know I'll do some looks and I'll use them so you can see what they look like on the skin. But that is it for my Walgreens Sally Kit Haul. And until next time, have a gorgeous day, dolls. Smooches. Mwah. Bye.